Gentlemen, right about now, Walt Disney aboard the E.P. Ripley, the miniature Santa Fe Disneyland railroad train, should be barreling around the outskirts of this tremendous and fantastic spot. It's a mile and a quarter track, and it's a trip that's out of this world because inside that circle is a brand new eighth wonder of the world. First, there's a coming for that word picture, but right now we got to get back here. The E.P. Ripley is rolling around the Santa Fe Disneyland rail railroad tracks with Walt Disney at the controls, and in the cab with him, you may be surprised to know, is the governor of the state of California and the president of Santa Fe, Mr. Gurley himself. And in the cars behind the 5'8 size train, you'll see the little boys and girls dressed in the foreign costumes of their countries because they are the children of the foreign consuls located here in Los Angeles. Now, the track is a mile and a half around. The train runs about every 10 or 12 minutes. In fact, there are two trains. There's a passenger train and there's a freight train. And each one can take several hundred passengers. It takes about uh, six minutes to go around the track, which is built on a ramp that completely encircles Disneyland and cuts it out from the outside world. So once you get inside Disneyland, all you see are the various kingdoms. Now, if you look on down the track, you see Mickey Mouse there at the controls. And that's an exact duplicate of the engines that ran over 50 years ago. You can see the conductor there with his brass buttons glistening in the sun, the arms of the children. Hello, Walt. Hello, Governor. Hi. Hi. How would the run go? Oh, fine, fine. The governor had it around through Frontierland, and then 
Fred Gurley there. He took her around. I picked her up and brought her in. High balling in, boys. Hello, Hello, Governor. Glad to see you. Our Governor Knight of California, ladies and gentlemen, and Walt Disney, of course, and Mr. Gurley, the president of the Santa Fe. And of the Santa Fe and Disneyland, if you please. <laughs> That's right. Now, <laughs> Vice President of the Santa Fe and Disneyland. You gentlemen have lots to do down in the square. So we'll see you at the dedication. Bye. 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 Thank you, Art. All right, there they go. And here come a lot. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Bunny. Johnny Green, Ron Button, and all the passengers. And uh, I've got to get down and start uh, getting ready to cover the parade, which is going to go down Main Street in a couple of seconds. And uh, after a few words from your sponsor, Ronnie Reagan will take it away for the dedication ceremonies to Disneyland. No alternative. <laughs> <laughs> to give you toys. Yes, toys. No, 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 no. I'm giving you a raise and making you my partner. A, a partner? <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Scrooge. Merry Christmas, Bob. And God blesses everyone. Joy to the children. where they were to catch a train. <laughs> Having barely made their connection, they took the train to Italy. Brindisi, Italy, to be exact. To Bombay. And all was right on schedule until... Rotten luck. There's no way I can make it now. Hey, Mickey, grab your bags. <laughs> we can take this here packing. Across the Wild West, our traveling trio resorted to goofy power. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. But they've forgotten about the train. <laughs> No, I've cut way back this year. Less is more, I always say. <sighs> oh, Minnie, you're gonna love it. Well, I've got candy canes, eggless eggnog. Oh, Pluto, no. <laughs> Good digging, Goof. Oh, don't worry, Muffin Mickey. And now we can find out who our special guests are. Ho, ho, ho! Look who's right on time. Gosh, it's Santa and Mrs. Claus. They're the friends we usually only see once a year. Hop on, Santa. We saved the diamond car for you and the missus. <laughs> Why, thank you, Mickey. Ho, ho, ho! 
Choo-choo. Oh, if only the train was bigger. Then I could be the engineer and drive it. That gives me an idea. Remember the Hot Diggity Dog Express? A hundred years ago, it chug chug all over town. But it's kind of fallen apart. So, why don't we fix it up? Then everybody in town can drive it. Choo-choo! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this exciting, Laszlo? Ever since I was a little heist, I wanted to be the engineer on a speeding train. The wind blowing through my hair. <laughs> okay, it's a wig, but it feels like hair, and it looks good on me, eh? <laughs> Check out the Hot Diggity Dog Express! <laughs> Congratulations, Mickey! And may I say, I would love to take a whirl and drive it on its first run around town. Me too! Me three! Me seventeen! Well, <laughs> don't worry. Anybody who wants to drive the train can. So, let's form a line. 